Would you look at that? The camera angle's gotten better. You want to know something? Even though you can only see from here down, I'm still moving my head in like a cartoonish fashion, just acting. <sighs> I got to move these more than that. I'm so used to my acting courses to tell me how to do something. That doesn't, that won't help me here at all. <laughs> now to get to the real point that you're here, let's just get to it. And the whole reason why this is a different angle. This bitch is big. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're still continuing on with the Lego Ninjago series. I would like to do other sets, but like I've said, nothing really piqued my interest before. And if you can, somehow in the comments, just tell me, hey, I explicitly want this set to be done on here. Let me know, because otherwise I'll continue to do the ones that I enjoyed. Originally sold in January 2011, this is set number 2504, Spinjitsu Dojo. Consisting of 373 pieces, the characters included as minifigures are Zane, General Knuckle, and Sensei Wu. Originally sold at $49.99, I purchased this pre-owned as a collector's item for $58.54. Now this may be a little bit of a price inflation for a pre-owned item, but all the ones that were sold new are 120 above. I did not mind paying for pre-owned if it hit my specifications. It came with one, the box, two, the instructions, and three, the spinner and cards. These are only unique to certain sets. Now, in the future, if you want me to open up more of the spinner sets that come along that aren't character exclusives, that are only available as spinner sets and not in a Lego set, I don't, I don't know why I'm specifying, doesn't matter. I'll just get into these later so we can see what they're like. But it met my criteria and I was willing to pay. Now let's hope that they didn't fly on the form. I hope. Please, fingers crossed. First things first, I gotta... I gotta get scissors. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. And scissor cut. Perfect. Don't need that anymore. Let's go. Let's see. Ah. Huh. Oh, there's more in there. Or maybe just bubble packing. Huh. Person tried to preserve this actually fairly well. Man. I picked the right people for eBay product. Then again, I picked the ones that I trust the most. So do I want to pop this on screen? Yeah, I do. Beyond that, what do we have? Obviously, the uh, instructions. Put that one on top first. Uh, more packing that seemed to have popped already, but that's fine with me. Don't really mind it all too much. And a lot of pieces. And I can already see the two pieces that I was worried about the most. The cards and the spinner and the minifigures. I doubt this person would... Uh, not include those however the one thing that i am seeing is that a lot of these pieces are already assembled this person literally just separated and did not care about anything they just wanted money i guess eh, understandable you don't want something you don't really care for it all too much i was kind of spoiled with the ice dragon attack person separate separated out every piece uh a few mismatched pieces Perfectly fine with that as well. This is just something I'm going to have to live with if I want pre-owned sets. And you as well if you want to continue purchasing sets like these. Understand, people have used these before. And that's what the issue is. People. I hate people. I guess I just... Pour this out? Pour one out for the homies? Oh god, pieces are going everywhere. Oh. Well, there are broken pieces too. Okay, so just as I was singing this person's praises, uh, they show me that it's not exactly as good as I thought. I'll try and separate out the pieces, I guess. Oh yeah, and sticker. Stickers are gonna be a bitch as well, because I don't get to put those on. Time for a piece extractor that I already had on hand. Hopefully. And hopefully... Hopefully, 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 this is the only broken piece. It's literally just a green, uh, cylinder, and that's it. Let me see if it still pops on any of the pieces. 
it still works. It It's still able to be built with. I can still build with it, but God, that still makes me upset. Jesus. Excuse him. Oh my God. I just broke a piece. What the fuck? How old are these pieces or how shitty are these pieces? I can still build with it. I guess I just got to be careful with these cylinder pieces. My God. I don't know why they're breaking so much. I understand this is an old set, but what the fuck? The more and more that I separate out these pieces, the more and more I get a weird smell. And I, and it's something that I've smelled before, and it's almost as if, like it's cigarette smoke. I swear that I've smelled this smell before, and that's all I can compare it to is cigarette smoke and it's kind of strong but it only happens every now and again it's not like it's a constant smell it's like you get a waft of one specific piece and then it disappears because you set it down and it's not like i'm dealing with clothes here most of the time you smell you continue to smell smoke because it's a fabric and it holds in the smoke but this it just, it's just odd. With how many pieces that I am disassembling, I am not even, like, close to figuring out how to build this. Even though when I was younger and couldn't purchase these before, I, uh, looked up how to build these. I didn't look up any of these videos that I'm making right now just because I didn't think that was a thing. I used to be the type of person that, if I couldn't have it, I looked it up. Well, then again, that's what a lot of people do for video games nowadays. Don't have enough money to buy a certain game? Just watch somebody else play it. Uh, you get to enjoy watching a friend play it. Uh, at least that's how I see it. A word to the wise, whenever using a piece extractor, try and find the center of a piece and remove it there. It's a much better way to remove a piece and at the end and risk it breaking like I thought would happen with pieces like so and longer. It turns out it's the smaller pieces that break more easily. I I don't know. And after a certain point, you can just... Uh-oh. Whew. And after a certain point, you can start removing everything because it's no longer... Stable isn't the word that I'm looking for. The best word I could use is together, but I know that there's a better word that is just escaping my reach. Going back to the idea of me looking up old videos of the sets already pre-built, just to see it. Mostly on LEGO's page and not like on YouTube or anything, just because, I don't know, I guess I'm weird. One thing I vividly remember doing is looking up these sets on LEGO's page explicitly and only looking up the instructions. So instead of having the pieces in front of me, I would go piece by piece, piecing it together in the instructions and see the stages of how to build it. So I've already seen the way that these are built, the end product, and obviously I have it right in front of me on the instructions and on the box, but just the idea that I used to <laughs> do something just to enjoy it a little bit more, or at least try to enjoy it, uh oh. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough piece to separate, isn't it? I know that everybody's different and every human is different, but I was really, really spoiled with the first person and how they separated it. And I kind of chuckled every time I saw, like, a little bit of a mistake with the first person's, like, accidentally mistaking uh, glow-in-the-dark cone pieces for white pieces or using Jay's head instead of Zane's head. Which, I can actually show you this time, and show you the correct head. Because this will hopefully be the right instance for him. Hopefully, these pieces are relatively easy to identify. Because, in some of the bigger sets that I have, what I plan on doing, and with the biggest set coming soon, what I plan on doing is trying to separate out the pieces in the bags first, and then I would separate out the pieces of the bags. So I would have a bit of work ahead of me uh, when doing that sort of thing, but that's in the future, and that is not now. I think it's funny that in just the last episode, I said that I wouldn't uh, allow myself to have a disassembly of my old sets if it's less than 
uh, if it's more than 200 pieces. Oh, here's that green, the piece of the green shard. Okay, so it just broke in transit. It's not even this person's fault. So these pieces are just that old. Okay, I'm going to take back my previous judgments. It's not this person's fault. It's just that they've aged, and that's what I need to learn. I need to learn to be okay with it. <laughs> and also the shard that I broke is much bigger than the shard that broke in transit. <laughs> and just when you think that you're done disassembling, there's a, there's a bit more. I'll get into those later. Well, at this point, I'm just separating out that little bag that came extra. And it was all like the weapons and other stuff. Technically, they could have all been mixed in the other bag. I'm not entirely sure what the reason for separating out them was. I appreciate them trying, but in the end, it doesn't really make any sense as to why they would. That being said, beggars can't be choosers, even though that have been uh, pretty uh, vocal about some of the stuff. This comes out. Why is there tape? Oh, no. Oh, why? Oh, no. How to perform surgery on this. I don't want this tape to rip up part of the card. If for even a split second I start to hear the sound of something tearing, I am stopping immediately. I don't even understand why there's tape. Like, there's nothing... It's not like it was cut or something. Not like it was ripped in any way. Oh. Well, there's a little bit of damage, but not as bad as it could have been. Not entirely sure why there was tape in the first place. Let's see how much I can get done in the time that I still have left. Time for assembly of the minifigures first. And we start off with General Knuckles, supposedly. Is this the first general of the minifigures? I'm trying to remember. I think it is. Because I don't think I've dealt with the specific heads or the general armor with the spikes. I think, I think that's a thing for the generals. You know, beyond the the uh, gigantic special heads, General Knuckle uh, having spikes on it, <laughs> and then he gets a giant uh, broadsword. I think that's what that would be. And a bone axe. Next is Sensei Wu. And with Sensei Wu and uh, Zane's uh, bottom pieces, there's actually a belt difference. Zane is a gray slash white belt. Sensei Wu is a black belt. Little details like that make it so much better. And finally, Zane in his normal attire and his actual face. Which, I'm sorry about trying to bring it closer. I know that the lights are glaring, and uh, it's a bit far for this episode, but just believe me when I say that this is the normal attire for Zane, and, and uh, it's his actual face this time. And he also comes along with a weapon that I've never seen featured in any other set, ever. I'm not entirely sure what that weapon is even called to begin with. I think it's a spear of some sort, but I wouldn't know what type of spear. Alright, there's that. Then we move these two off to the side. Uh-oh, there we go. Um, then you line up the two triangles that face one another. Load in Sensei Wu. And two little blocks go along with the spinner, I guess. And it's supposed to like set up a wall or something. I don't really understand it. I'll show you later what that's really meant to do. If you've already heard what it's called, then you probably already know what it's going to do. Regardless, I don't care. And the first piece we start off with happens to be this. And if it faces this way for me, it has to face that way for you. And this time I actually have a, a camera that's facing toward me to see what you're seeing. So hopefully, everything works out. <laughs> Long-winded way of just saying, Hey, I'm trying to do things a little bit better. I don't know if it's actually working out. The only issue is that it's a bit far away, so I can't exactly tell. And this 
is a bit of, of a specific way to put in these pieces. So I have to kind of keep it facing toward me for just this. Please understand that I'm trying my best. I think that's the start of a lava pit. I mean, that'd be my best guess. Okay, something that I didn't know about is that these are actually two different pieces. I thought, like in other sets, these are pieces together. Or this was just all one piece. Nope. Didn't realize that they were two separate pieces. And again, now that I'm seeing it on there, it's black on black. So I don't know how much that you saw. Maybe if I move it into like a dead space on the... There we go. Just something to talk about. I first mentioned it uh, probably in one of these uh, assembly videos. I started watching Netflix for the very, very first time ever. The very first series that I ever watch happens to be happened to be uh, uh, Breaking Bad just two days ago as of recording this video I finished it and oh my god that series was amazing Brian Cranston and uh, Aaron Paul which I finally learned his name I wonder if there are any comments in the previous video saying what the actor's name is I learned it <laughs> <laughs> I kind of already knew how it was supposed to end, but it didn't end the way that I thought I had heard it, it ended. And that, and that happens quite a bit for some odd reason. I don't know where I get these ideas from or how I heard them. I could have sworn that I heard that something like dragged his body off screen, but it wasn't the police showing up. Probably should say spoiler alert, but like there's enough shit out there just to spoil it already for you, so... And if you're like me and you haven't seen it, um, kind of your fault. <laughs> hey, I, I, I admit it. It's my fault for not watching it. Really cool series. However, in saying that, I have only watched all five seasons and not the movie that just recently came out on Netflix as an exclusive. It is directed by the same person, Vince Gilligan. That sounds right in my head. I know it's Vince, and I know it starts with a G, but I cannot for the life of me remember if Gilligan is his last name. That being said, uh, obviously Brian Cranston's character is dead, but the returning character, uh, as Jesse, Aaron Paul, from Brian Cranston himself, at least on Twitter, he stated that his acting is phenomenal. I believe it. Seeing what skill he had when he was younger, uh, and younger I think it ended in 2013? That sounds right. But after roughly six years of it being done with, and then he comes back to a role in 2019, because it, it was just released like in September or something. My god. The only issue is I hope it didn't taint the, the original story. Because I felt that it was a good ending. And good is open to interpretation, but what I see as a good ending is a realistic ending. Whether it be uh, the good guy beats the bad guy, or say there's a love triangle and the person chooses the person that nobody thought was actually right. If it's handled properly in that in that specific movie, if it's handled properly, it can be a really good romance movie. However. If it's handled poorly, it can be the worst movie ever to reach an audience's eyes. There have been quite a lot of those. Mostly because I think that the people who direct those types of films have no idea what actual romance is and never have experienced it themselves, so they don't know how to write it well. Write it well or direct it well. Oh yeah, sorry about leaving the topic, but what I was what that long-winded way of talking was really about is hey. If you've seen the movie for the ending of uh, Breaking Bad, tell me, does it ruin the entire series that you know and love? <laughs> because I really, really, really do not want to watch something that was so amazing to watch. Just for it to be ruined by something that uh, somebody really wanted and thought it would be a good draw for Netflix, and they just fuck it up. I really hope that's not the case. Hey, look at that. 
gears are starting to turn. Try and make make it so that they uh, form a line a bit. The best of your ability. Maybe I can uh, put them in a direct line? Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, before it was a little bit off. Now it's like one thread off. And by one thread, I mean like it's like perfectly staggered. So it'd be one right behind the other. Okay, and now I put four silver swords in there. All facing... Um, I'll, I'll put one facing down and one facing up. So when it spins... Why aren't you spinning? Oh. That'd be why. There needs to be a little bit of room for the blades to stick out. The blades do spin a little bit because they're a little bit loose fitting. Oh well. One thing that I don't kind of like about this uh, new setup is... Because the angle, of the, excuse me, angle of the lights are different, it uh, hits the the instructions for what I'm building in a different in a different light. So I can't always see it. It gets covered up a bit, but only sometimes. Only when the light hits it 100% on. Polar Express still lives up. Kind of has to if it's an animated movie. I know that's like a Christmas movie and everything, and I want to move past it. Speaking of movies, it's uh, currently award season for movies, and one movie that I recently watched was uh, Parasite, the uh, South Korean award-winning film. At this time, I know it has won SAG Award for uh, best picture and after watching it I don't understand how it's not anything new it, it really isn't and it's not like it's overly beautiful or something like that like it just it's just a movie like it barely crushes that threshold of it just being a movie and I don't know if it's movies being like, oh yeah, if we do if we don't start giving awards to other countries, people are going to think that we're racist. I don't know if there's like an again in that sort of situation, but just like in general, I didn't think it was all that good. Like it's a good movie, but I don't think it I don't think it was better than some of the other award winning movies. And one thing. From the award show that I did watch that I'm very happy about is Joaquin Phoenix. Oh my god, that man. His portrayal of the Joker and him as the same character as uh, his favorite actor. God, I suck with uh, names. Like, I'll, I'll, for I'll end up forgetting Joaquin Phoenix's name after a while, but I won't forget his performance. Just his portrayal is just so good. <laughs> I cannot iterate that enough. If you haven't already seen it, please, please go watch it. Okay, yeah, this one goes in this one. I had to turn it toward me just to see, like, where, where it needed to... Oh, where I heard something from over in that direction, but I don't know what. If I lost a piece and I need to go searching for it later, I will. That's what it was. It broke. Okay, that's what I heard fly over in that direction. Great, if I cut my foot in some recording... At least I know the reason why. Man, these pieces are fragile. Become a tiny little lantern. And that goes over here, hopefully not breaking. Thank God. I want to make sure that it copies the image that I'm placing down for you. Yada, yada, yada. Is that there? It's inward. Not to be confused with inward. And it pops on like so. Nope, 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 no. Each with a piece hanging off. Gotcha. It has to be in line with one piece underneath. There we go. It looks better than I need. Ugh. Emotional support. <laughs> As of this recording, I still have yet to touch my first uh, Lego video at all. Just to put in perspective. And it'll still be a while until I do. So I don't know how I plan on editing any of these until I actually get down to it quite a bit of ways and right now i actually have nothing to edit for this week entirely it might sound odd for someone who trying to make youtube videos to not have any recording but hasn't edited these types of videos is because my upload schedule and what i've kind of done to myself but it gives me time to think it gives me time to record it gives me time to ensure that 
I can do what I need to do. Also, uh, with these pieces, don't be stupid and uh, face them upside down. Here, I'll try and get them out of the light. There we go. The characters go one direction, but not into the ground, like one direction. Rest in peace. <laughs> so far, in what I already, in what I have built, there doesn't seem to be any pieces that are missing, I'm happy about. The pieces that are breaking, um, two of them have been my fault. Uh, one of them has been shipping's fault. Maybe it's all down to age, like I said in the beginning. Or, I don't know. Just life. Some of the curveballs that it throws at you, you just can't deal with sometimes. Yeah, we're on our way to building another trap. Even though it's technically, like, a training sort of thing. Bit of a doozy, if you think about it. Like, this is kind of dangerous for someone to be training with. And again, these are supposed to be the destined ninjas to save the world. So I don't know why they're not able to do it. Uh, and if they die, they obviously weren't the right people. And I'm surprised that, uh, Sensei Wu... <gasps> Here's where that chip went. I won't cut my foot on it. Uh, but yeah, Sensei Wu choosing the wrong people for the job... Kinda weird. You might just have an off day every now and again. Okay, and then these pop on to these side bits. Kind of a bit of ch bit of a chore to try and fit it in properly. There we go. These actually stay up pretty well. More wood assembly. Do you ever feel like a piece of wood? You know, do you? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely asking. Like, do you ever feel just like a piece of wood? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's good if I bump shit off the table and it breaks. Can't do anything about that then, because I don't know where the pieces go. I don't know what pieces I'm missing. I don't know if it's assembled wrong. And this is the point where I kind of have to turn it toward me, because I can no longer see in front of me. I guess that's fine. I'll just separate it out just so... Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's going from bad to worse. And I don't know what those are actually supposed to be, because I think they're just spikes. But I think it's also supposed to be in water, and maybe it's supposed to be like piranhas or sharks or something. I don't know. There we go. There's some bamboo for you. Right down there. I'm pointing in the right- there we are. Right there. Sometimes the pieces that I look out for aren't even the right color that I'm looking at. And I don't know why I uh, become stupid like that. Another one of these things that I'm very afraid to try and put in again. Hopefully I don't, um, you know, break. Slide in properly. Okay, good. You're safe. Easy as pie that time. Whew. You have to make sure all your pieces at least try and stay in line. They're like ducklings. One goes astray, they get run over by a truck. I accidentally did that one day. I didn't have my glasses with me. At the time, I didn't require, wasn't required to wear them. So I just thought they were just leaves on the ground. As soon as I got close to them, I swerved. Didn't hit any of them. I maybe hit one, but kind of disoriented it or... I know I didn't crush it. But as I looked behind me, the school bus was driving. Because I didn't stop, it didn't stop. And I just see two standing ducklings disappear. And one on its side that I think that I had hit. And boy, was that hard to watch. Sorry to ruin a Lego video with that. It was just story time. The more that I build these side pieces the more i see what's left of the center bit what i have left to build how much time it's taken me just to get to this point an hour and a half but then again there was other stuff that got in the way that's all of book one done that's all the time that i have for right now i'll continue this vid for you for me time is of the essence i'll be right back i'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right, right, right i am back and it's kind of good that I did take a break from this and then went on with my life for however long. The issue is when I left, I didn't realize what I had been doing. The more and more I started to use these, I didn't realize just how much dust was on them. When I when I left, I went to go eat and then I went off to do some work. There's so much dust on this that it caked my hands. And when I washed my hands, there was another layer of dust in the water. This thing is old and it really does describe how much how brittle these are from being how old they are. 
I understand about like the original sell date of 2011, but that doesn't mean anything because these pieces are basically still made today and I don't know when the last time they're sold is. Because like I said in a few episodes ago, I think I was going to talk about um, the Turbo Shredder, but that's not right. It was Knuckles ATV, the one that I found in a Walmart. I think I've mentioned that. If not, I'm spoiling something. Uh, I'll reiterate it in the correct episode. But that being said, I don't know when the last date these things can actually be sold is. Whether this purchase was purchased on the first day of them being available it was built the first day and then it just stayed out. That much dust is collected on this. And I didn't realize I was doing that until I left. And I almost put my hands on some food that I was about to put in my body. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to book two. <laughs> I should move these a little bit, a uh, little bit more forward there for you. Sounds right in my head. Is it right in reality? I'm still not 100% sure. <laughs> oh, shit. Where'd that go? There's a secondary click in that one. Why? Why did it make a secondary click when putting in these black rods? I swear I heard a click click instead of a, just a click and inserting it. Why did I hear a click click? Why did I feel a click click? Will I stop saying click click? Probably. probably. Fuck. I was going to make a joke about saying probably not. Oh, what? Another one just broke when I picked it up. <laughs> Man, these pieces suck at holding integrity. That goes there, then. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is there not enough left to hold it? Steady? Well, if I face it that way. It's all about trying to make sure that it can hold itself up. And when it, whether it uses something else to prop itself up against. Uh, is this fine with me? <laughs> Can't wait to try and actually, like, play with this. Just to see if I can even navigate my hands in the right order. Just to... <laughs> just to try and do it for the, for the main screen. And that falls with the weight, but it's facing toward me. Interesting. Seeing it like that made me question all spatial awareness and reality. And depth perception. Something that I've always struggled with. Mainly in games, but mainly in games that have weird camera angles. And this goes on top here. How? Oh, just on these two pieces. Interesting. Man, leave it to Lego. And speaking of which, as like I normally always say, it takes a genius not only to design it, but to come up with the design to build it. I was recently talking to a friend who also likes to collect uh, sets, and he and I, and I think I've read it somewhere, so I don't know why why I never thought of it, but uh, remembered it is what I should say before, is that they have a computer process and uh, make the design for them. Either it, either it's now or they always did after a certain point, maybe even for this generation they already had it either way i'm just uh kind of dumb <laughs> in remembering that all it takes <laughs> and then which way do i need to face it my god the light's in the worst position not entirely sure what we're setting up for oh wait no i think i do yeah i think this is like a door brace probably based off the picture from the very beginning oh there's a blue spoke there okay that's what i was confused about i was like i put it up there how did it end up on the bottom in this picture <laughs> fairly certain i know how it's supposed to go and i am correct in assuming but normally assuming is bad because assuming simply and you probably know the stupid saying Ooh, now we get to put on the doors and one <laughs> a vocal cat in the background I doubt my mic could pick that up because he's he's behind a door, but he's very whiny right now. He <laughs> This is around the time that he eats, that he normally eats, so he's getting pissy right now. <laughs> I can hear him. Alright, I need to turn this toward me just so I can see where exactly these 
sword pieces go there we go perfect pretty symmetrical to the best of my ability i am only human and now we build the top of the monastery monster energy monastery monastery hysterical monasterical god i should shut up <laughs> good Another. hi jesus christ it's always like one pinky that takes the entire thing and that can ruin the entire thing Oh my god. Did I use this sticker piece somewhere else? Ah, yes I did. Shit. Fuck, that sticker piece is not supposed to be there yet. Careful. And now, how do I put it back together? Jesus. There. Goes on top of... Ah! I would not be good on human surgery. <laughs> my unsteady hands would not serve me well. People would get very mad at me and demand that their loved one <laughs> come back from the dead which I respond with, fuck. Now this goes right on here and only slot available for the rod to actually go up anymore because everything else is closed off. If you look through the bottom, see if I can build it upside down, just pushing the pieces together. Indeed I can, nice. It's good to challenge yourself every now and then. <laughs> My god, <laughs> I'm such a fucking idiot sometimes. Guess we test out this option. <laughs> okay, is there a piece that I can switch this one out for for stability? There we go. Let's test that again just one more time. Piece goes with. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's it's old. It's old. I am okay with that. I am okay with it. I'll get over it. Fuck. There we go. Sometimes it slides in like butter, sometimes it glides in like, uh, cheese or something, something thick. Then we test out the plate crap. Number one on the, on the left, axe walkway, done. And then on the right, the spinning blades of doom. And like we showed before, after the doors open, fuck, I don't think they're supposed to open like that. They open this way, shuriken of ice. And then, uh, can we try that again? There we go. <laughs> and that's the end of the building. And it came with two extra talents for some odd reason. Not entirely sure why. Because normally there's a position, there'd be a lot more extra pieces. Is there supposed to be a piece hanging out like that? Huh. Yeah, now that I look at it, those pieces are supposed to be like that. Weird. There's a hole over here and then a peg over here. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I think maybe you're supposed to get more sets and they all like connect and make like a ring or something. But that leads me into the future where I know that there are a few sets what I, where I have to get into. Uh, let's see. Now, let's describe this knuckles right around here. He's seen the treasure that's before him <laughs> zane is trying his best all the traps have been triggered nothing's doing anything even the missiles <laughs> they've missed entirely <laughs> and uh zane's sneak attack has done nothing so it's up to sensei Wu to hopefully uh, i i hope i haven't lost my uh, practice for this come on work Well, humanity as a whole is doomed. Will this hit? Yeah! Let's go! My abilities haven't gotten worse in time off. Uh, not that I ever played with this. I still have no idea how to use these cards at all. Uh, and there's- oh no, there's tape on these. Ah, oh, fuck a doodle do. Why would you ever- oh no, okay. I can't do that one. How about this side? Will this separate properly? So far, so good. And I'm bending the card by accident because a little bit of force. Oh my god, there's so much tape on this one. Ugh. God, that hurts me to rip off that tape. Look at that bitch. Look. Jesus Christ. What kind of fucking idiot does that? That's card number four. Never been sure what they do. Wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. The tape got stuck onto it. Card five as well. There's gunk on that. Gross. Uh, so, uh, not entirely sure where I lead off with this. 
got two extra talons that are supposed to go somewhere else, I guess. Cooling off as is. Have a nice day.